just losing all our hopes. It's quite very traumatic. I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. Every human being has the right to his own space, his own life. And we haven't got that anymore. Estoy ocho años viviendo aquí, viendo cómo los precios del alquiler suben y suben y suben. Empecé a buscar alternativas de vivienda y vi que aquí la gente, hay mucho movimiento de gente viviendo en furgoneta, en caravanas, etc. Y no sé, pensé que era buena idea probar alternativas y no seguir con el modo estándar de, de vida, ¿no? que es como como se supone que la gente tiene que vivir, como que hay un patrón y al final tienes que seguir eso por cojones y no es así. Carlos, lo malo de, de vivir tú solo y cambiándote de sitio es que al final estás literalmente solo, ¿no? Y el, creo que también es importante el hecho de estar en un sitio que haya gente que esté viviendo en la misma del mismo modo que tú. I came here 18, 19 years ago now um, to open a van recycling scrapyard, but always in the back of my mind, I had a vision of something else. Somewhere underlying my life has always been a search for home, you know, for somewhere that I felt was home and my home. And I think that's why I've been obsessed with it all my life and I've always wanted to build housing co-ops or squatting or... It's always been the search for home. And, you know, this is home. I've, I've built home. I had to I had to make it. It wasn't... I couldn't find it anywhere. Just being able to build a house, like, we, we would never be able to do that in in the real world, we're not eligible for, you know, we don't, we don't earn enough money to. What it was like when we first lived here as a scrapyard to, to now this incredible creative scene that Mark's built, um, it's transformed the whole place. The fact that I am not stuck in my house with my children and no one to talk to because, you know, it's hard being a parent and it's good to have really close neighbours <laughs> that you can, you know, just talk to in the evening or have a cup of tea with halfway through the day or, you know, stuff like that is... And then, obviously, the more relaxed the parent is, the better it is for the child. <laughs> yeah. Nom, 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 nom. No one wants you to do this, you know, so that your neighbours or somebody's always going to complain about it. And we, we had a lot of complaints and eventually got taken to court. A ver, no creo que esto sea el único, la única opción para salir de lo que es la renta, ¿no? Cómo están los precios de los alquileres o cómo están los precios de la, para tú comprarte una casa. Pero eh, creo que es una alternativa bastante lícita de a una comunidad y sabes que tienes un sitio tío y que la gente va a cuidar de ti tú vas a cuidar de la gente sabes es bastante importante but look at authority now that's what's happening today you've got a new set of travelers people that can't afford to live in the houses what's supposed to do they, they live in the street or do they have pride in themselves and they live in vans and caravans and trucks and things like that. There's no option.
that we're facing eviction here um, and uh, we're planning to resist because basically we feel that uh, at the moment there's not enough support from the local council uh, to support travellers in the local community. Um, and basically there's, uh, we're kind of finding it, well we're finding it very difficult to find places where we can legitimately go um, and uh, live peacefully as a community, which is what we're es essentially trying to do. People want to keep the community they built, and this is built. People here love each other, trust each other. It's a proper community. A low loader came to remove me from the site, and it picked me up, and then it dropped me off on Cedar Road, and it fell off the back of the low loader, and it's completely ruined my home. families being forced into homelessness and children being taken into care. We're really worried about mental health and health. There's um, been a direct link shown between um, security of accommodation. You know, we don't need to be living in a house to have security of accommodation, but being pestered by enforcement services and police is insecurity in our accommodation. And it's going to force... It's going to force health problems and it's going to force in particular mental health problems and it will drive people further out of society. So I just wanted to say, I think the question is like, we want better options, we deserve better options. This isn't, this isn't about party politics, this is bigger than party politics. This is about human rights and saying everyone deserves human rights. Woo!